Job interrupted growing child. Uh, you can't since it was exposed to sunlight. It's considered above ground. Yeah, uh, that's okay. I mean, that's ultimately that's going to be good, but we do need some underground crops for sure. We need some plump helmets. It's not a dwarf fortress without growing uh, without a plump helmet farm. That's just a fact. All right. Uh, most of the mining over here is done. Um, it would be nice to get that dormitory done as well, but uh, at least there are two miners now. We did solve that issue. Uh, and we have probably made at least, yes, we've made the table, put it here, and probably the throne as well. And a door. Cool. We can get an office for Mr. Unlikely. That'll be great. So they'll move that stuff in. Um, we have other doors too, right? Let's put a door here. And we need mechanisms. Um, a mechanism, you need a different workshop, right? Let's build one. Mechanics workshop. And this, this, uh, workshop will probably stay in here. We can put in the back. Not a lot of people use mechanics workshops. Um... Uh, it doesn't have to be used that often, is what I mean. Okay. And soon we'll also get, you know, a proper, like, forge and everything. But that might be on another level. Maybe down here. We just need the basic necessities first. Uh, okay. And, you know, let's put a door on our little temple here. Can I make this an office yet? Uh, hold on, you're bringing that chair, and that should do it. Cool. Make throne room, or study. <laughs> Great, we are going to assign it to Mr. Unlikely, and that should satisfy your demands, yes. Excellent. Uh, it's not the nicest room yet, but It'll get there. We'll put in some decorations and we'll smooth out all the walls and the floors and stuff like that. Cool. Uh, oh, and did we have a floodgate yet? We do. We're going to put it down. We don't have mechanisms yet to make a lever, but we'll do that soon. I wonder why they haven't built that bridge yet either. Is there a reason? It needs architecture. I mean, we definitely have an architect. Otherwise, none of the stuff would be built. Hmm. Uh, did I not pick prickleberries for uh, winter? Summer. I didn't pick it for summer. Okay, there. We're always going to be growing prickleberries. And I guess we're, we must not be uh, harvesting these plants like we should be. Uh, someone should be set to plant gathering. It is a deal, and a deal is also farming and wood cutting and cooking and brewing. Uh, should I set someone else for it as well? Um, you know what? I will set... Uh, let me reread this. There we go. And you're, you can't see what I'm seeing. I think, Mr. Unlikely, I might have you also set to do some plant gathering when you can. I will commit that. I didn't feel like it was worth putting Dwarf Therapist back on the screen. Um, cool, so we are building this floor, which is great. So the people can't get into our above, quote unquote, above ground uh, plot or farm. I think once we cook some of that stuff that we've been gathering, we'll get seeds for it. I think that's how it works. Uh, need seeds, yep. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, and our stocks should be, whoops. Yeah, we are starting to get accurate counts of everything. We have accurate counts of everything now, which is great. Just great. Okay. Um, I think we can put in a bed here, at least one. 
Maybe in the middle? Maybe not in the middle. Um, we'll, do, we'll do the corners. And at least that'll be able to make it a dorm. Plant gathering. Yeah, you're going to be gored by a passing unicorn. Uh, maybe. Could happen. Uh, right now, I don't think we have any... Uh, ooh, we have mountain goat. Giant mosquito. That is not a joyful biome animal, as far as I'm concerned. Ugh. Uh, and I'm not sure if we should be worried about the mountain goat people. That does make remind me of our recent um, adventure mode game where we fought and then befriended the goat people. I think they should be okay. They're they're far enough away. They're not even in our biome yet. Oh yeah, that is the thing. We have we have a, a different biome over here that's not joyful. So we should get a nice smattering of different creatures. There's a reason your title is Mayfly. Uh because you bite unicorns? At least you'll be happy gathering all these lovely plants and seeing a unicorn. Alright, what do we got? All right, the bedroom is all dug out. Most of the stuff is dug out, which is great. Yeah, very little mining left to do. Um, hmm. Mr. Unlikely has become a manager. Well, that's great. Did I mess this up here? That's just a floor. I didn't put a stairway there. That's... Well, I can at least make it a downstairs. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, did we build the mechanics workshop? No, not quite. I would like some mechanisms soon. Uh, we're still working on all this stuff. It's nice that this is a shallow brook so that we can just walk across it. Uh, without having to worry about anything. Hopefully it's not uh, strong enough that anyone's going to get like washed over the waterfall. Shaken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shaken by what? Dwarf comic. What happened? You are shaken reliving being knocked out during a cave-in. Okay. So not too bad. So because you're at the site of where you got knocked on the head by the cave-in, you're kind of shaken by it. Well, get over it. Get over it, DC. Mayflies only have a lifespan of 24 hours. Even small mosquitoes are not joyful. Yep. The malaria inside of the thing must be massive. <laughs> yeah. I, it would be nice to hunt that giant mosquito. Uh, I don't know. Usually someone starts with uh, hunting turned on, right? No. No one has hunting turned on. Which is probably for the best right now. As long as we have enough uh, food stocks. We have 32 drinks. 12 fish. Um, what about prepared meals? None. Okay. Did we build the kitchen? No, we still need all these things. Y'all need to hurry up. All right, the uh, mechanic shop is getting ready. Oh, we have visitors. A scholar is visiting. Yeah, we haven't set up... I guess we have a meeting place. I guess everyone will go into that tiny meeting place. Hmm. But we're not a super hospitable fortress right now. Are you the scholar? Are you the visiting scholar? Nope. You're a fisher dwarf. Alright, still, still doing all this. We just did some... Farming? We got the prickleberries there. Just a few. We didn't have a lot of those seeds. Oh, you just finished that plot. Okay. Oh, one thing we didn't do. We never set a refuse stockpile. So that could be an issue. Let's set that. Um, here's our entrance. Can we just throw refuse down the hill? Uh, that's kind of far away. Um, 
Where do we want to put refuse? Yeah, you know what? It's 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 not as far away as it seems because it's all downhill. What if we just throw all of our trash down here? Big refuse stockpile. Cool. I think that'll be okay. All right. Um, how are we doing on those blocks? Well, I guess we can wait till we finish uh, building the floor that we have, which is still taking a little longer than I would have hoped. Anything else we want to build? Scholar K must have heard about your book deal. <laughs> That's a life-changing cha event. You should write a book and give up the fortress life. It <laughs> could be bestseller telling the story of living under a brutal dictator, forcing you to mine despite poor working conditions. A joyous biome demands a proper green recycling facility. You can't go littering like that. Oh, I think you might be right, Dorkling. We could just dump all the trash off of the waterfall. Would that be better? Would that be recycling? I mean, it's just, it's all, bi the trash, refuse is biodegradable. It's all just like bones and rotten stuff. Look, I think they're bringing a, no, I think we just fished for that muscle. I don't know. Uh, speaking of fish, because fish is the only thing we seem to be, uh, have food wise, we should probably make a fishery. Uh, now. Because we're going to... We, we need food. I, our dwarves can't be that happy. If we go to... Yeah, it says we've ate meat. But that's not a lot. That is not a lot at all. We really need to get... Um, well, the prickleberries... I'm, I'm, uh, I get the feeling that prickleberries... And, and now that I'm thinking of this, we do need to change our kitchen stuff. Do not cook plump helmets um and yeah you can brew spelt that's fine don't cook any of these seeds that's fine okay just making sure did you mean refuse stockpile for bones horns hides etc or did you mean a garbage dump um oh yeah i guess i meant a garbage dump or did i I can never, I can't remember. Yeah, hold on. Maybe I didn't mean this. Uh, let me get rid of it. Uh, no, it's not. As, how do I get rid of this? <laughs> um, is it D to remove designation? No, it's not. Oh, here we go. Remove designation. And then I... I forget that there are two kinds of uh, refuse stockpiles. And this is a garbage... Oh, no, I don't want a garbage dump. I did want a refuse stockpile, I think. I think. But maybe not everything in the refuse stockpile. All right. Remove the zone. Yeah, I think I did want... want a refuse stockpile. But let's. We don't need to put. I'm mostly just concerned about, like, don't put hair in here because that can be useful. Whoops. Um, a lot of the stuff can be useful. I think just corpses, right? And other things, and body parts. And everything else we can. Uh, we can use other places. So like here in our main stockpile, we can have refuse, but not corpses or body parts. Hopefully that's okay. Maybe I need to change the item types. Stop making the God of Rainbows cry, Seraphix. <laughs> refuse might create... Oh, I see. Refuse might create rainbows with all the stench and miasma and other weird things rotting creating fumes if you make a pit over the waterfall's edge and did toss stuff in would that stuff be pushed down river and off map by the flow i don't know potentially although i think i mean yeah that is a flowing river or a flowing brook that is a little deeper than it is up at the top so maybe might i'll just stay at the bottom though 
Uh, it might be interesting to try. We could definitely dump stuff off. At the very least, we could dump stuff off, like, here. Like, at the edge. Um, to avoid other things. To avoid, uh, you know, getting pushed in by the water or anything like that. Alright, the floor is coming along. Don't turn your main stockpile into a refuse pile. Refuse piles decay things faster deliberately. Oh. Okay. I just thought... Okay. I don't know what I thought. No refuse, then. We'll make a separate stockpile for refuse. Um, usually we do that by the kitchen, and we haven't made the kitchen yet. It's fine. We don't have a bone carving station or anything like that yet. And we don't have um, a clothier or a loom. Do a second stockpile just for bones, hair skulls. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, you don't think you can have a zone off the edge of anything? You can uh, do a, you can do a garbage dump off of um, off the edge, and they will dump stuff off the cliff. That is something they will do. Okay. All right. So we have a bedroom done, and we'll make it a dormitory. And I think I have some more beds now, right? Yeah. Yes, we have enough beds for everybody. Seven beds. And I don't have any more doors. Let's make a couple. And actually, I can use the management system now. So let's say construct um, rock door. And let's always say... Um, let's say if we have three or less, make three more. Uh, conditions, uh, from reagents, we need to make sure that we have at least three rock, and then at most three doors. Or, no, if we have, yeah, at most three doors, I guess. Whoops. Cool. So they will make those. Great. Uh, from the wiki, note, storing clothes or armor in a stockpile with a refuse category enabled will cause them to wear out very quickly. Okay. Thank you. That is good to know. Uh, yeah, that's not something that I ever, I don't think I ever knew. Although I did always separate my refuse just to have like a refuse stockpile in the kitchens because that's usually where people generate the bones and the hair and stuff like that anyway. Our miners are taking their time. What are they doing? Sleeping? Hauling big heavy rocks? It could be that everyone's just really hungry. That could be. Uh, we did make a still, so let's brew drinks for sure. And I'll just put that on repeat. Um, we don't need to extract anything. Okay, that's going to be fine. Still need a kitchen, though. We do have a fishery now. Okay, and they are automatically using that because we do have some of those auto settings on by default. But it's nice that everyone has a bedroom. Everyone can actually, like, sleep in a bed, except our guests. Oh, and I guess you were the guest, huh? Right over here. Toulon the Scholar. Uh, bones and hair, etc., are in butcher. Hmm. Do we need? Do we need to set some of that auto stuff already? I think everything by default is fine, and I can never remember where that auto stuff is for. Um, uh, where you set that? Where was that set? It's not set order. Oh no, it is. Uh, standing orders. Dwarves gather animals. Yes, all that. Refuse. They gather refuse. Ignore refuse from outside. They save all the things. I think that's all fine. They'll harvest. Mix food. All right, it's all fine for now. Uh, do we have... No, we still don't have a mechanics workshop, but we do have a kitchen. 
We will prepare easy meals for now. Um, on repeat. I could put in a workshop, a manager job for it, but I think this is fine.